Hey fans, have you ever wondered how the 32 NFL teams got their names? Look no further because we've got all the details. Before we dive in, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can be sure to get all our great content. Ready? Let's take a walk through history. The Arizona Cardinals. The Cardinals are the oldest continuously run football team in the country. They began as the Morgan Athletic Club in 1898, and in 1901, owner Chris O'Brien purchased red jerseys from the University of Chicago, which he called Cardinal Red. The name stuck, and in 1920, the team joined the American Professional Football Association, APFA, which two years later became the National Football League. The Atlanta Falcons. The Falcons began as Atlanta's first professional football team in 1965. A local radio station ran a naming contest, collecting submissions from around the state. Miss Julia Elliott, a school teacher from the small town of Griffin, suggested Falcons as the name for the new team. She said, The Falcon is proud and dignified, with great courage and fight. It never drops its prey, it is deadly, and has a great sporting tradition. The judges were impressed and selected her suggestion as the winner. The Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens began in 1996 after then and taking his team to Baltimore. The name was chosen in reference to Edgar Allan Poe's famous poem, The Raven. Poe spent a good part of his life in Baltimore and is buried there. So when the team held a fan naming contest, Poe emerged as a clear one. Plus, Ravens are badass birds. The Buffalo Bills. The Bills joined the NFL as part of the AFL-NFL merger in 1970. Before then, they were known as the AAFC Bisons. In 1947, owner James Brill of the Frontier Oil Company held a contest to rename the Bisons. Fans kept with the Frontier theme of the team and recommended Buffalo Bill as a reference to famed bison hunter Buffalo Bill Cody. The Carolina Panthers. In 1987, shortly after it was decided that Charlotte, North Carolina would receive an expansion National Basketball Association franchise, former Baltimore Colts wide receiver and businessman Jerry Richardson met to see if they could bring an NFL expansion franchise to the Carolinas. They agreed, and they decided to build a private stadium. They are now the only NFL team to have their own stadium. Richardson liked the imagery of big cats as sleek and powerful. So he selected Panthers as the team name. The Chicago Bears. Originally named the Decatur Staleys, the Bears are one of the only two remaining franchises from the NFL's founding in 1920, along with the Arizona Cardinals, which was also founded in Chicago. The team got the Bears name not long after they moved to Wrigley Field, where the baseball team the Chicago Cubs played. They continued the theme and named themselves the Bears. The Cincinnati Bengals. Former Cleveland Browns coach Paul Brown founded the Bengals in 1966 with the American Football League. He named the team in honor of the Bengals that resided in the Cincinnati Zoo. The team joined the NFL through the 1966 merger between the AFL and the NFL. The Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys began in 1960 as the Denver Broncos. The Broncos started as a charter member of the AFL in 1959, when Bob Hausman got angry that the NFL denied his request to bring a franchise to Denver. A Name the Team contest in 1960 yielded the name the Broncos. Ironically, the team ended up joining the league after all in the 1970 AFL-NFL merger. The Detroit Lions. Originally based in Portsmouth, Ohio and called the Portsmouth Spartans, the team formally joined the NFL in 1930. Four years later, radio executive George A. Richards purchased the Portsmouth Spartans for $8,000 and moved them to Detroit. They became the Lions in a nod to the Detroit Tigers and because Richards felt that they would be the king of the NFL just as the Lion is the king of the jungle. We saw how that turned out. The Green Bay Packers. The Green Bay Packers were formed in Whitney Calhoun. Lambeau made a ballsy request for funding from his employer, the Indian Packing Company, a meat packing company. They agreed and gave him $500 for uniforms and equipment, but insisted that the team be named for them. Earl Lambeau decided... The Houston Texans. The Texans first played in 2002 as an expansion team, making them the youngest franchise currently competing in the NFL. They replaced the city's previous NFL franchise, the Houston Oilers, who played from 1960 to 1996, then moved to Nashville and now are known as the Tennessee Titans. The current team name came from months of market research by the franchise. Owner Bob McNair said that the name and logo embody the pride, strength, independence, and achievements that make the people of Houston and our area special. The Indianapolis Colts. 
The Colts started as the Baltimore Colts playing from 1953 to 1984. The team got its name in honor of the tradition of horse racing in Indiana. In 1984, the franchise moved to Indianapolis, but the city of Baltimore sued them to try to seize ownership. Many Colts players cut ties with the team out of anger, so while the team is considered the same entity in NFL history, many players and fans disagree the Jacksonville Jaguars. Along with the Panthers, the Jaguars were the two expansion teams for the 1995 season. The Cat theme spoke to the power and athleticism of the new teams. For Jacksonville, the name choice may have been a nod to the oldest living Jaguar, which then resided in the Jacksonville Zoo. The Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs began as the Dallas Texans with the AFL in 1960. Owner Lamar Hunt decided to relocate the team, and the mayor of Kansas City, H. Row Bartle, whose nickname was The Chief, convinced him to move the team to Kansas City. They also had a fan naming contest, which agreed with the choice of the Chiefs as the best name for the franchise. The Los Angeles Chargers. Founded in 1959, the Chargers started in Los Angeles, then moved to San Diego. They did not return to LA until 2017. Owner Baron Hilton liked the name, which his general manager, Frank Leahy, recommended. Hilton said, I liked it because they were yelling charge and sounding the bugle. The Chargers may be the only NFL team named after something said on the field. The Los Angeles Rams. The Rams originated in Cleveland, where attorney Homer, Marshman, and former Bears and Pirates player Dwist then back to LA in 2016, where they reclaimed their earlier name. The Miami Dolphins. In 1962, the AFL awarded an expansion team franchise to lawyer Joseph Robbie and actor Danny Thomas, and AFL commissioner Joe Foss suggested they look into Miami because it was warm and had no football team at the time. A contest was held in 1965 to choose the name of the team. From nearly 20,000 submissions and more than 1,000 different names, the winning name Dolphins was recommended more than 600 times. Robbie liked the name because he said the dolphin is one of the fastest and smartest creatures in the sea. The Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings emerged from a fledging franchise in 1961 when it joined the NFL. General manager Burt Rose liked the name the Vikings because he said it represented both an aggressive person with the will to win and the Nordic tradition in the northern Midwest. The New England Patriots. The Patriots began as the Boston Patriots after a fan contest recommended the name. The Boston businessman and owner of the franchise liked the name for its reference to Nevin Merger. The New Orleans Saints. New Orleans got its NFL franchise on All Saints Day, which made the winning entry in the Name the Team contest, the Saints, all the more appropriate. Owner John Meekham also said that he liked the name because it tapped in New Orleans' heritage and that he liked the song When the Saints Go Marching In. The New York Giants. Owner Tim Mara chose the Giants as his team's name because, like many football teams, he wanted to emulate the name of a local baseball team. It's that simple. The New York Jets. Founded in 1959 as the Titans of New York, the team began with the AFL but joined the NFL as part of the 1970 merger. The original manager of the team named the team the Titans to contrast them with the Giants. Unfortunately, the team racked up debt and was on the verge of bankruptcy when Sonny Werblin saved it. Thinking that the team would play in Shea Stadium close to LaGuardia, Werblin named them after the Jets that would be touching down. He said he wanted the team to seem modern and powerful. The Las Vegas Raiders. The Raiders began in Oakland, California, where they played their first regular season game in 1960 with the AFL. Like many teams of that era, they joined the NFL with the 1970 merger. The Oakland Raiders were originally going to be called the Oakland Seniors after a name the team contest, but rude jokes led to discontent and embarrassment among the team. The name was changed to the Raiders before the 1960 season began. The Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles started life as the Frankfurt Yellow Jackets, which emerged from several shifting athletic associations in Philadelphia. But the team went bankrupt in 1931. The NFL granted a franchise to Burt Bell and Led Ray, who took over the failed team. They liked the Blue Eagle insignia of the National Recovery Administration, which governed the New Deal, and it was appropriate given the circumstances. So the Yellow Jackets returned as the Eagles in 1933, although the NFL says that they are technically not the same team. 
the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Steelers go all the way back to 1933 and are one of the oldest teams in the NFL. They started as the Pittsburgh Pirates, when owner Art Rooney borrowed the name from the local baseball team, as many owners did at the time. This led to the team being called Rooney Men, but Rooney decided to rebrand the team. A naming contest led to their new name, the Steelers, in honor of Pittsburgh's longtime steel industry. The San Francisco 49ers the 49ers entered professional football in 1946 as a member of the All-America Football Conference. They were the first team on the West Coast, so it made sense that they drew their name from the famous California Gold Rush of 1849. The Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks were one of the two expansion teams created during the 1970 AFL-NFL merger. The team was formed in 1975 with John Thompson as general manager. A name the team contest yielded the name Seahawks, a nod to the beloved Ospreys that dominate the Pacific Northwest. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers. After Tampa was named as the first city to get an expansion franchise as laid out in the 1970 AFL-NFL merger, Owner Hugh F. Culverhouse hosted a Name the Team contest. Many fans recommended the Buccaneers, a reference to the Pirates who frequently made port on the Gulf Coast. Ahoy! The Tennessee Titans. The Titans began as the Houston Oilers, forming in 1960 in Houston, Texas. In 1997, they relocated to Tennessee as the Tennessee Oilers, but in 1998, owner Bud Adams decided to change their name to the Titans to reflect the strength and leadership of their players. Plus, the ancient Greek reference was a nod to Nashville's nickname of the Athens of the South. The Washington Redskins. The Redskins began as the Boston Braves in 1932, but they changed their name to the Redskins the following year. Owner George Marshall William wanted to acknowledge Massachusetts Native American history, and he even hired William Lone Star Dietz, who was part Sioux, as the team's head coach. In 1937, the Redskins moved to controversy for their name. Have an awesome day. Cool.